Islam, Islam, peace, peace. Greetings to you all. Sheikway L, a.k.a. Lord Abba, a.k.a. Mr. Just the Facts. This is another challenge to the brother that calls himself Young Pharaoh. The first challenge, I just challenged the brother to do, you know, do some real research, man. He's, this brother is like the newer version of Bobby Hemmett, Phil Valentine, Eileen Bay, and Polite. Just, you know, just new, newer versions of the same guy keep coming along, rocking the people back to sleep with the same already debunked nonsense. So now I'm challenging young Farrell. He just put up a video dissing Islam. You know, that's the usual thing. When these guys attain what they believe to be consciousness or awareness, they diss Islam. You know, they diss all religions because for whatever reason, they believe that we follow the atheistic teachings of the Europeans. And anyway, we'll get to that. This guy starts making these crazy, nonsensical, outlandish claims that all religions were founded by extraterrestrials, meaning these people came from other planets. Some some entities. I don't can we call them people? I don't know. Extraterrestrials came from other planets, set up all religions to control. Like this stuff is pure foolishness. It's 2017. We're going backwards. This stuff has already been debunked. He compared the religions to different boxes of Pringles, barbecue, uh, sour cream. Like what's what's wrong with these people? They starving for YouTube views so they could get them YouTube checks cut at the every month. So they create these controversial topics because they know a lot of our people are so ignorant that they're going to believe that stuff. They, they, they just do. And they cater to their ignorant bases. So they put out a video like that. That's not only false, but it's going to generate a lot of comments in the comment section by people like myself that know that what you're saying is absolutely bogus. And, you know, this is how these guys make their living. And it's whack. It's corny. So I'm calling you out to a debate. Uh, this guy cites Chancellor Williams. Chancellor Williams' book, The Destruction of a Black Civilization, his entries on Islam is pure scholastic garbage. Islamic, not just Islamic scholars, non-Islamic scholars have already refuted Chancellor Williams' works. Why do you think Chancellor Williams never did any follow-up like lectures, any debates on any of that garbage that he said against Islam in his works because it was garbage? Um, what else he goes on to talk about Prophet Muhammad? Why would um, somebody follow a man that couldn't read? I mean, that's... It's just garbage, man. This this stuff that these people are talking about is non-scholastic. It makes absolutely no sense. It takes people off of any path of truth. So now people that are seeking information to correct themselves, which is what Islam does, you bring them into some extraterrestrial garbage and then you go on and teach people uh, a, a bunch of pseudoscience about uh, clitorises being elongated penises and just the already rehashed information that people like Polite got bodied on already, the guy that you're trying to go against. It's just whack, man, at the end of the day. And that's why I'm, I'm making these videos because somebody has to challenge it. Y'all cats are rocking people back to sleep. Every couple of years, some new guy comes on, create a cult-like following. And what is it doing? Like, what is it doing? Like, you know, and this is a dig at Polite. What is the teachings of Polite? How have has the teachings of Polite advanced anybody? So now young Pharaoh comes on, right? He calls Polite a liar. And because he got jerked, then that's understandable. You know, that's what Polite's been doing for the past couple of years. I've been calling him out on it for the longest. Now, and it is what it is. It, just, it is what it is. Now, he comes on and he's calling Polite a liar. And he's calling Polite to a live debate, live um, hangout session. As, well, now I'm calling young Pharaoh a liar. You are willfully lying, beloved. And if you're not, this is my challenge to you to come deal with a big dog in the information. Why just cater to your ignorant base that's going to believe everything that you say just for the YouTube views? So if you make claims that guys 
are jerking people out of their money just so they could go live comfortably. Aren't you doing the same exact thing? And if you think that you're not, if you think that your information is right and exact, then dare to be challenged on it. Let's set a debate up. We can do it live. We can do it on any media channel. I'll come to your media platform on your Google Hangouts just to show Islam was brought into Africa by the sword. Can you prove that? Because I just did a show the other night debunking that garbage that has been running on from Christian polemics against Islam since at least the 13th century AD. You guys just been running with a bunch of nonsense. Islam is our salvation. If it's not, then you should be able to prove it because Islam has a track record in the United States. You dudes that's called Young Pharaoh and Ankh and I'm in setting two nice set, whatever. Like y'all, what? Where's y'all track records other than making videos, polemical videos, not knowing that you're just carrying on what European Christians against the religion that we founded. Islam was was founded by us, Prophet Muhammad, his tribe, the surrounding tribes of the Quraysh, the Mudah. These tribes look like us. You have absolutely no information on 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 islam you're just repeating a bunch of garbage and if you're honest then accept the challenge lord abba is calling you out again to a challenge young pharaoh to ignore me proves my point that you are just another in a long line of deceivers in the phil valentine bobby hemmett Aline Bays that make up all of this garbage against Islam, like Islam was founded by the Catholic Church and that Islam is nothing more than religion. I just, for the record, I just had a rabbi, a rabbi back out of a debate with me because he made the same claim that Islam is basically rehashed Judaism. But I posted one of my research papers in his on one of his videos so he could see the level of scholarship that I deal with. I'm not one of those Hebrew Israelites. You'll never be able to get those arguments off with me. And the topic was his own debate. And he said to the guy that was setting up the debate that the debate made no sense. So these guys basically just want to dictate what they think perhaps is true or their own willful lies to people as if it is proper scholarship and that they know what they're talking about with the, um, you know, the intent of either converting people or simply jerking them out of their money or gaining more YouTube views so that they can get them checks cut every month. But I'll stop your flow. So let's have a debate. If you're real, if you're about this work, if you're about this research, then let's get it in. There should be no reason to ignore me. If you're real, I don't think you are. You talk about if we go over to uh, the East, they don't like us. They rape our women. That's happening in Buffalo, New York right now. Cats is killing cats because they come from somewhere else. They're raping chicks right now up in Buffalo, New York. You should know about what's going on in your hometown. So these lies and these excuses that you guys keep trying to rehash, Chancellor Williams is bogus this information that has already been debunked by every real scholar. Bring that with you. Let's see if it's real. Let's see if you about to swerve. With that, I say peace.